Hey, it's Desmond. Let me tell you about a pretty big project that I'm working on right now. It is a music video for my twin brother. And this music video is gonna be 3D animated, but I'm doing it all by myself. So it's gonna take some time. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm doing smaller projects to fill my time and so I can consistently post something. And so this project is an asset from that music video. I asked my friend and colleague, David Chapura, to drop a concept for the video. And here's David to talk more about the concept for this spaceship. Obviously, I think the first step is always research into whatever the subject is you're doing. So this time it was like space related stuff. So space lander, Mars, like what's the environment like that this thing is going into, whether that's like the void of space or it's landing on a certain planet. Uh, but usually it's a good idea to do some sketches, like a broad variety of sketches. Um, and I especially do sketches when I have no clue what I'm doing. So that way, at least I get something solid on the page and I can like manipulate it from there. Third step, first step is research. Second step is sketches. Third step is like actually bringing the concept to fruition. We can't really tell in the sketch phase how the product will really turn out. So it's better to give a couple options um, than to just say, hey, this is the final design we're doing at this point. From a sketch, that's kind of crazy. So the last step really is nailing down the final design and that means making sure all the detailing is correct the right colors we want like so that when i give it to somebody like the director or the modeler they can really understand the concept and make it true and make it quality to the kind of design that i'm creating in my head so i just got the model that david made ready for a print I did not smooth the model out. So it is gonna add clear lines to places that should be completely curved. So now the model is ready to print, I'm sending the majority of the print to the FDM printer and the rest of the accessories and smaller pieces to my resin printer. The resin printer smoothly printed every single piece that I gave it. There were a few single hiccup and that was actually the first mistake I've seen this printer make. But that was a completely different story for the FDM printer. We get a failure out the gate. Then when I restart, we get another failure and I do not have enough filament to try again. Fast forward one week, we got our filament. And this time we're printing in pieces. So we got three separate pieces. And this time each piece prints out perfectly. And it's at this point that I realized that going with the FDM printer for the body was was to save money but it was also a decision for a lower quality but i know i do not want to put that type of time into this project it's just not what i'm trying to do here i think that i landed on mars i think that i'm stranded And at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. This thing looks nice. This is the biggest print that I've ever done. This is the most printing I've ever done for a single project. <laughs> now, the whole thing was for size, but if I were to go back, I would make it smaller so I could bring the base in and print it, hollow it out and print it in resin. That's the only thing that I would do. So with that said, no, I just need to find a place to put it. I actually don't have a place to put it in this house. Uh, so this thing can't stay here in my house. And there's only one other place that I know I can bring it. I think that I landed on Mars. I think that I'm stranded on Mars.
So even though I'm extremely proud of this spaceship, I'm going to try to do things differently next time. Now I do think it looks good, but I know it could look better if I didn't have to worry about recording the entire process. So next time I'm going to try to focus more on the results and not the progress so I can focus a lot more on the quality. So thank you for watching this. Thank you, David Shapur, Callie, and Vaughn for helping me with this project so far. I appreciate everybody. Peace out.